Welcome back to another video with the Celestron Power Seeker 50AZ. Today we're going to talk about moisture. Now when operating this telescope in cold conditions, what may happen is moisture may build up on this shield and along this tube. Moisture can also build up on the lens. Now, what should you do if moisture builds up on your telescope? First things first, take it indoors. Secondly, remove all your accessories. So you want to take your finder scope off of there. You want to put, take your eyepieces out. Okay, leave that on there. And you also want to remove your diagonals. Now, it's important that that once you've done this, you point the telescope downwards, like that. And all the moisture that's built up will turn into water, and the water will run down and should hopefully evaporate that way as it draws downwards. The one thing that people sometimes think is that when there's moisture built up, they go, oh, I'll just put the cap on it, it'll be fine. No, it's not fine. Don't put the cap over it because what happens is you will trap all that moisture on that lens. And what happens is a mould will grow and it will distort your images and that's a very costly repair to get the uh, lens cleaned and recoated. So take your finder scopes off, your diagonals, take your eyepieces out. Okay, keep it in a dust free environment as much as you can and just have it pointing downwards. Um, the ways you can prevent this from happening quickly, before you use it, you would put it in a colder room that, you, that it's already in. So if it's in a room like this, you put in a room that's a bit colder with no heat in it. For example, a conservatory, if you have one. Leave it in there for about half an hour or so. Go outside and do your observing session. Once you've done that, or once you've uh, finished or your scope starts to freeze over, bring it indoors, take everything off of it, like this set up here, let it sit there for an hour, then bring it into a warmer room, like this one, and leave it for another, another hour or so. And then you can put all your caps back on and uh, store it again, or do whatever you want with it. But, and that's the only way you can stop moisture. There goes my phone. That's the only way you can stop moisture building up on that lens and causing problems and horrible repair bills. So just by letting it sit there, either keeping it higher horizontally, like they recommend, but it's probably better to point it downwards so that all the moisture runs off and evaporates that way. That is a tip for moisture. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. The next video will be based on eyepieces and magnification. Thank you very much for watching.